Hi everyone, welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts and the hashtag grads of Team Tiny Hearts Hop. This is a heart themed hop. I will have the hashtag in the description box below. You can click on that and you will find all of the creators that are participating in this hop. It is sponsored by CC Crescent Creations who has an Etsy shop and I will have her store linked in the description box below. This is the ornate background stamp from Simon Says Stamp. It has that beautiful doodling. It's a six by six red rubber stamp. I'm also using the Love Is, which is 1 Corinthians. It's that scripture. And that is a six by six red rubber stamp. This beautiful stamp set, I'm only using the sentiment thinking of you. It's called Beautiful Butterflies. I'll be doing some heat embossing, so I'm using the White Hero Arts embossing powder, the Distress Embossing Glaze in Broken China. I'm also going to be using some Unicorn White Pigment Ink. These are the clay hearts that I was supposed to be using, and I lost them in my craft room. My craft room was clean. I had no idea it was an odd spot that I found them in, but I did lose them. So instead, I'm using this Glory of the Snow Jewels, which I had purchased from Nia's shop. And they are beautiful teal blue jewels. I wanted to show this other mix. Look at how full she puts her little pouches. Those are full of goodness. So I want to encourage you to head over to her store, check it out, and I will talk about the giveaway. She is offering a prize along the way on this hop. I've laid down my red rubber stamp. I am using some distressed watercolor paper. I've taped it to the bottom of my Misty after removing my embossing foam or my stamping foam, I'm sorry. And I'm getting a good impression with this. I'm gonna use that Hero Arts white embossing powder. I'm sorry, you're not gonna be able to see it very well, if at all. And I'm going to use my Wagner heat tool to heat this up and melt the embossing powder. And then I'm going to bring in some Delusion sprays. I didn't show them in the beginning. I am using three different colors. I'm using Calypso Teal and Vibrant Turquoise on the first one. I'm going to do a second card panel. So right now this is the regular size of the card panel, but I am gonna end up cutting it down. That is the Vibrant Turquoise. The next color is the Calypso Teal. And then I'm going to add uh, on the second panel, as I said, I'll bring in the London Blue. And when I show you the finished cards, you're going to definitely be able to see where on the second panel I brought in that blue because it really stands out. So I'm just adding, I'm just bringing a little heat to the panel so that I can dry it. I know I need to do some die cutting. My camera, unfortunately, I it either shut off and I didn't realize it or I didn't hit the record button and I missed the die cutting portion. I'm using an MFT heart die. It's an older one. It's no longer available and I'm going to cut both of these panels out using that heart. So if you, whatever heart you have in your collection, big or small, you could do a bunch of small little hearts and it would be really cute as well. Um, this right here is that second panel. I'm using the same distress, uh, distress watercolor paper and I'm adding that Hero Arts white embossing powder and drying that out. And then I'm going to come in with all three of the colors and add that to this panel. I also am going to bring in some unicorn white uh, pigment ink and I'm going to find that when I do my heat embossing for the love is I'm using the distress embossing glaze on Gina K designs black paper now I knew the first one was going to be clear that I knew because when you do that embossing glaze over it, it picks up the color that's underneath and so I knew that it was going to pick up the black and it was going to be clear and that's where that unicorn uh Hero Arts Unicorn Ink comes in. But for the second one, I used my Distress Oxide in Broken China, and I thought that I was going to be able to go over it and I would get a really vibrant 
uh, broken china color, a teal color, and that wasn't the case. That just didn't happen. So I'm finishing up drying this through the magic of non-cutting. You're going to see that I will get that uh, heart in there. I decided that I wanted to make sure that I didn't emboss the edges of this because I knew that the edges were going to show out, show up underneath the panel. I did uh, cut the panel down to about the embossed panel down to about four by five and a quarter. And here's where I'm bringing that unicorn white pigment ink to give it kind of a chalk look. So this is going to peek out behind my shaker bits. I do make sure that I wipe off the embossing so that it's not covered and you can read what it says. Here's where I'm cutting these panels down. I'm just trying to figure out how much I want to cut off them. I'm going to cut down my acetate. It's not going to fit all the way down the back of the panel, but it will fit just enough so that it will cover up that heart so I have a well I'll be able to create a well for my shaker this is some scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive I like to use the double-sided adhesive when I'm using that acetate so I'm gonna burnish that and then I'll take the backing off and add my acetate to the back I'll bring in my embossing buddy and I'm going to make sure that typically has cornstarch in it. So I'm just going to run it around that acetate to make sure I don't have any cling. If you watch my channel, you know that I tend to have a lot of dog fur. My black dog is always in. It's a black lab. And he is constantly, whenever I touch him, I have hair in my hands. So I have a sticky uh, craft mat, the gray craft mat that's under my blue one, and it sticks to everything. So I like to make sure that um, I use that embossing buddy to make sure I don't get a bunch of hair in there, uh, not to, uh, on top of not getting that um, static. So I'm creating a well for my rhinestones. And I'm using the X Fasten Tape from Amazon. I like this tape especially for shaker cards because it is a little bit thicker than the Scotch brand. So you don't need to double it up. One application of it for me has been plenty. I don't, I don't need, um, you know, if, I guess if you really wanted a lot of shaker bits in there, you could double it up. But for me, one one pass of the tape is good enough. I'll fill in those spots and then I'm going to add the sequin or the rhinestones that I shared with you earlier. They're so pretty. Aren't those pretty? And again, the, that is from CC Crescent Creations. As I said, she is having a giveaway. It is open uh, from now until January 21st. To enter, you need to leave a comment. So if, for each channel that you leave a comment on, that's an entry. Each channel is going to draw one finalist. So out of all the comments that I get, I'm going to pull one person. I will give that name to Nia. She will take all of the names that were drawn and then she'll draw a final winner. That winner will be announced over on her channel, which will be linked in the description box below on January 23rd. Third. So make sure that you stop over at Nia's channel. She'll have a little bit more information on what the what she is giving away specifically. So I've added some acetate to the back of my panel and I'm centering it onto that black card base so that you can see the words behind it. And here I'm taking uh, and doing the same exact process. So I have one of those black panels has clear embossing uh, with the love is on the back behind the heart. And the second one has the um, distress oxide stamped. And then I added the embossing glaze over the top of that. So I'm going to add my acetate here. And again, I didn't cut it all the way uh, down the whole panel. I just cut it to cover up the heart. That's all that I needed. And I'm adding some uh, seed beads that were from my stash to this one. 
and I'm going to overfill this. Usually I underfill my shakers and this one I just totally overfilled. The one that I actually put, you know, something behind it that I wanted you to read. Yeah, I overfilled this one. So there's a little bit more than I actually needed. I'm still going to center this onto that card panel. My final card is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. You're going to see that I'm going to have a little bit of a white edge on one of the cards. I will off camera trim all of that down. I don't know how that card base ended up being a little bit bigger, but uh, all of my finished cards are four and a quarter by five and a half. So there's both of my little shaker bits. I love how that turned out. I love how quick and easy the backgrounds are so you can really mass produce these cards quickly. I'm going to use that same embossing powder, that Hero Arts White Pigment. I'm stamping the Thinking of You onto the same black cardstock, and then I'm going to heat emboss it. I will trim this down a little bit. I don't like uh, as wide of a black edge as it actually has, so I'm going to trim this down. And then I'm going to cut two of them. So I did heat emboss the same sentiment. I'm going to trim both of them down the exact same way. I don't show the second one because it's redundant. It, I did the exact same thing. I didn't change any of the colors. And I'm going to add some foam adhesive. So I have some quarter inch foam adhesive from scrapbook.com to the back of that and then I will adhere the sentiments to my card and these are great all occasion cards. You can use these as sympathy cards or if somebody is, you know, not doing well or you just are missing somebody, I think that they are fantastic cards for a multitude of occasions. I'm trying to um I did a lot of thank you cards last year. I felt like I made a lot of thank you cards. So I'm trying to concentrate more on all occasion cards and birthday cards this year. So, um, yeah, that's why I thought I'd go with the thinking of you there. I thought that my card was going to be centered and this is where I realized that the card panel is actually a little big. So you can see where I have that white border on the left. I'm going to fix that off camera. I'm going to go ahead and trim that down and they'll be the exact same size. Here's a last look at my cards. I'll show you a couple of close-ups. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching.